G'day everybody. Well, time to start the restoration of the Crompton Parkinson Repulsion Induction Motor. Uh, got all the relevant tools and things we're going to need to uh, disassemble it. Uh, today we're basically just going to take this thing apart and uh, work out what needs to be done to get it working again. Starting with, it's going to need new paint coat obviously, and get rid of the old uh, interior house paint that they've just slathered on this thing. Uh, a lot of it just chipped off actually, just using the rubber hammer. A while ago I was able to just knock a lot of it off, but we've, um, I was trying to focus on this the other day, so I'll do it now. I couldn't get the camera to actually focus on it, but there's your specs on it. It's Crompton Parkinson, Chelmsford in England. It's quarter brake horsepower, 1425 RPM, 220, 230 volts AC. Uh, can also be run on 110, 115 if you're over in America. Uh, 5 amps. Single phase, rating is continuous, class A insulation, I'd assume. Um, let's let the camera come back. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to set the camera up on a tripod and give you a uh, real-time uh, video of pulling this thing apart and I'll show you how it actually works. Okay, well, I've started by taking the uh, rear end bell cover off. It's a very thin piece of steel actually, that just sits over the back end of the uh, motor, protects the brushes and the commutator. Also uh, worked all these bolts loose, so we can take them off. They're actually dome nuts that are, um, got lips on them, they have a uh, slot cut in the end. Obviously somebody uh, didn't like having to get the bolts off, or didn't have a socket to uh, get them off properly with, so they use that. There's the three bolts. They've got a uh, nut put on, then they've heat riveted the end on so the nut can't come off. It's all very crude, but as it's the original parts for this, it's sort of going to stay with it. I don't know how. Oh, no, that's loose. A little bit of rust on them, but we can clean all that up. And this thing should hopefully come apart now done it right. That's where a screwdriver always comes in. Take that uh, nut off first. Move that good inch later out the way. I don't want to break that. There's the front end bell off. Sleeve bearing up inside there. The good thing is all of that can come out and be uh, be cleaned up, which is very nice to know. I know the bush motor; it was actually all um, put in, then they pressed a uh, big eyelet over it, so it was all sealed in permanently. But that's uh, that's all good. That can be resurfaced, and then hopefully our armature come induction rotor will come out. If I can get these brushes out of the way. Oh, let's see, let's just, there we go. And that just slides out. You can see there's the com bars there. Very uh, greased up and nasty. That's the centrifugal clutch. Works on those uh, these weights here fly out when the motor spins up. As you can see there's a bit of movement. And they just pull on that clutch mechanism there and that's how it retracts the uh, brush blocks. I'll sit that aside, that's actually alright, probably won't have to worry about getting that rewound, thank Christ, because I know how hard that is. But, uh, we'll get these brushes out. It takes a bit to get the bolts started, but once they go, they're fairly easy. It also pays to have the right uh, sockets. Hope the camera's still recording. Yep, good. I don't have 
have to take these out all the way, but I will do it once I've got the brushes out. Because these, which I'll show you in a second, are just held in by little T bolts. And there's our brush ring and that just fits over the end, and the uh, plate acts on these little uh, lugs here, and that's what pushes the brushes back. It's fairly uh, fairly simple, although it's not quite fitting together properly, but you get the idea. It just goes like that. Uh, all of that can come apart. These, as you can see, is a bit of copper wire connecting both brushes. That's because your AC goes in either one and while being in parallel with the stator and power goes first to these brushes getting the motor started then once they're attracted it's AC straight to the stator which is going to need to uh, be rewound as you're about to see it's very dirty and sadly whoever uh, had it last has actually butchered the um, terminal terminal block, that's all that's left of it, and where the wire is supposed to run in, it doesn't. So that's all got to be uh, taken off and redone. All in there, it's pretty nasty. But it's um... The actual state of core itself is in pretty good nick. It's not corroded. It's, uh, I think, probably the layers of grease over the years have really protected it. But, um, yeah, that's probably going to be the hard bit about it. I'm not sure if this end part comes off yet. I'll have to try it. Uh, but that bearing's alright. It's just going to need new bolts and things. And, uh, yeah... But you'll see more on that. Uh, I'll conclude this for now, start cleaning up parts, and uh, yeah, leave it at that. Thanks for watching.